the juice gets simply drawn on. Poet and artist William Morris once said, if you want a golden rule that will fit everything, this is it. Have nothing in your house that you do not know to be useful or believe to be beautiful. Every single thing we use is important. So our cup, our dishes, our everything should, should be as beautiful as it can. Susan Tate turns ordinary practical things like cups, glasses and bowls into usable one-of-a-kind pieces of art. I love these bowls. They are theoretically a rice bowl. They're double-walled stainless steel, so they're very light. And to paint the entire surface of it and have it be something completely different. I use them for my breakfast every morning, for ice cream. They're just fun. Susan also loves the relationship between the art and food or liquid that goes into it. It's painted, it's baked, so it's not going to come off. And then immediately I go in and fill them up with water to see then what happens with the reflection. And it does the effect of light and water. And it's, it's, I do it so fast and then go, look what it did. You know, because I couldn't possibly do that. Sorry, I just want to spin. <laughs> Before Susan started painting on Pender Island, she was a textile artist in India. I had a studio there, a design studio, and was working with fabric. And uh, I, I chose to work with the men because so everybody else was working with girls. And I felt that the men, well, I just loved them. They were so sweet and fun. But also, I could, they could travel with me when I went on exhibitions, and the girls, there's no way they could have. Her experiences in India not only inspired her to write a book, but it changed her outlook on life and continues to influence her art and passion for bright colors. It never leaves you. People ask, do I miss it? And I think, no, actually I don't, but it's because it never goes away. You, and I, th I say to my friends often, one of these days you're just going to smack me down and when I say, when I was in India. Like, <laughs> Today, Susan hopes her work inspires people to embrace this idea of functional art. So whether you're drinking a cup of tea or pouring a glass of water, you're reminded that everything can and should be beautiful. My mother was a stoneware potter before she started painting, so we grew up being used to having special things, you know, everything being different. So I think obviously that's why it's important to me. But even with the little bowl, to think about it, it's more interesting than just a bowl that you don't think about that came out of a factory. Susan's pieces can be found at the Red Tree Gallery on Pender Island. From North Pender, I'm Karen Algersma.